Kia ora everyone and welcome to my first ever video. At the start of this month, or August 2019, I started working on a new game using the Unity Game Engine. The name of this game is Paradox. As a quick summary, Paradox is a puzzle side-scroller. I am hoping for this game to have a deep, complex story that will leave you with more questions than you started off with. So in this YouTube series, I am wanting to share with all of you the progress I make from now till the end of development. In the end, I am wanting for this to be my first commercial game and to maybe even earn a little bit of side cash, but mostly I am wanting to gain some experience and get to know what it is like to create a fully unique game from start to finish. It will also be great for the game and I because I will be able to get feedback about the story, art or game design. It will also be motivating having a small community backing me through this project and I will be much less likely to just give up on it. I have been making games for at least 3 years now, but I have never worked on one massive project for a very long time. Last year I made 2 games. The first one was Black Space. This was the first game I ever made with Unity and I spent a very long time making it. I used this project to just learn everything I needed to know before starting a more exciting and unique game. That's when my second game comes in. Color Blast. I spent about 5 months working on this endless 2D shooter where you must protect your ship from the enemy invaders. The main concept of this game was that you could only destroy the red ships with the red bullets and vice versa for the blue. Though the idea wasn't that exciting nor unique, I decided I'd put as much time into this as possible and make it super polished. From this project I learned how to make stores, menus and make the world just look much more alive. Though I spent so much time on Color Blast, it just lacked in originality and excitement. Finally, this year the only game I have finished is Death Wave. Death Wave is a top down 2D shooter where you must face off against infinite amounts of waves of rock zombies on a lava planet. This is probably my favourite game I have made so far in my life because of its epic combat moments and unique art style. From this game though, I am hoping to challenge myself as a developer. I also think it is the right time to see what I can achieve if I have given myself a much longer period of time and more resources. Now, let's look at what I've got so far. So one of the main features I want to be a part of this game is time travel. Right now I have a rewind time feature, a slow motion feature and a time of day system. Over time I want to come up with more time travel concepts so each level has a whole other layer of gameplay. The time travel will be one of the biggest parts of the game and one of the things I'm most looking forward to developing. Over the last few weeks I've been mostly focusing on the player and its animations. Right now I have a running animation, jumping animation, idle animation and an attacking animation that needs a lot of work. I've been making sure that the player is smooth and interactive and fun to play as. Of course, I'll be improving the player character all through the development of this game so it is the best it can be. Now let's talk about the art style and how creating the levels is going to work. For this project I am going to be making the levels out of tiles. These tiles will be 32 by 32 pixels, meaning that the game's art style will have a nice bit of simplicity, but there is also enough room for detail where it is needed. So far we only have a few tiles like grass and dirt, but soon I will have many more tiles to make each level completely unique from start to finish. To make these levels in Unity I will be using a tile map. This system makes it super easy to make large scale levels fast. You can just simply click which tile you want to use from the tile palette and draw your level into the scene. This system is also very helpful because it makes it super easy to have multiple layers of tiles, for example a background layer, ground layer and foreground layer. Another very helpful feature that I will be using to create this game is the new experimental 2D lights built into Unity. These lights are great because they are highly customizable and it doesn't take long to set them up. Of course you can just use the 3D lights that have been a part of Unity since forever, but using the 2D lights means you won't be wasting resources on a whole nother dimension that the player won't ever actually get to see. Now let's talk about the name of this game, Paradox. Before I get into why I want to call this game Paradox, I'll give you a brief description of what a paradox is. Basically a paradox is something that cannot be proven and can only be based off opinion. An example of this is the grandfather paradox. This is an antinomy paradox, meaning it is not yet possible to solve because we don't have the knowledge to solve it. But what is the grandfather paradox? So basically, just think about this, right? What would happen if you went back in time and killed your grandfather as a child? 
This would cause your father to never be born, meaning you'll never be born. But that can't be right, because if you're never born, how can you go back to kill your grandfather? This type of paradox cannot be true and cannot be false. So I thought, what would a time travel game based off this thought be like? Over the many years of making games, this is probably the one idea that I think is the most original, and that is why I want to finally give making this game a try. Anyway, for the next few days or weeks, my main goal will be to develop this game's art style and lore, and of course, I will be constantly tweaking small things to make the game either feel smoother or more exciting. But sadly, that's all I've got time for today. I'm extremely looking forward to what is ahead of me and all the challenges I'll be facing as I make my way through this new game creation journey. It is such a unique project to work on based off of the games I've been making the past couple of years, and I'll be working very hard to bring my new ideas to life. Remember that I plan to release a new devlog video every one to two weeks, either during the weekend or the start of a new week. In these videos, I'll be sharing with all of you my progress, new art, story concepts and all the challenge I've faced, so be ready for that. Also, if you have any feedback, questions or literally anything you want to say, I recommend posting it in the comments and I'll try to res respond to you ASAP. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this first devlog video and I hope you follow me on this epic game dev journey.